guys! So, I have again the greatest husband in the world to help me unbox the new Sephora play. It is October 2018. I am about, what, three weeks post-op from my surgery? <laughs> when you say it like that, it makes it sound so bad. I know. So, uh, I had two and a half, yeah. about two and a half weeks after uh, eye surgery, so obviously I can't wear eye makeup as of right now. So I'm very much excited to be released to do that in the very near future, just not today. So wanted to explain that. I also can't really see anything up close. So he's going to help uh, by reading what the product is and also what the description is. And there's a tiny cat here just destroying things. Okay. I'm so excited. So yes, he's very excited to, to deal with the makeup stuff. And the annoying cat. All yeah. right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the little, I'm going to pull out the little thing in the digger here that tells us everything that's inside. So, so you show the first, others. this is the insert here. There, uh, there are points right at the bottom, and it looks like it's a Halloween theme, which is appropriate because it's October. Halloween, literally the best holiday. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to grab stuff out of the nice little, cute little adorable bag that this always comes in. So it looks in. like we got another recyclable bag, which is awesome. I always love it when big companies are environmentally conscious. Yes. All right, so the first thing we're going to be going to hand you here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. <clears throat> All right, here we go. A weightless setting spray that keeps makeup in place for up to 16 hours. Why we're under its spell. Help help your makeup stay put through every Halloween party by misting it with this groundbreaking formula. The spray prevents makeup from melting, cracking, fading, and settling into fine lines. All those things I assume are bad. Yes, we don't want anything to settle into fine lines. All right. How to use. After finishing makeup, shake the bottle well and then hold it 8 to 10 inches from your face. Apply it two to four times in an X or T formation. It's a thing I'd see Jeffree Star do all the time. Yes. Well, he just kind of goes everywhere. I, I, don't, um, I, don't, I don't think there's a specific way he he goes. Is that the same thing? This one is the... I have the V6 one I used up. I think this one's just the normal all-nighter. Right? It doesn't say V6 on it. So, I've used the V6 one. I very, very, very much like this one. I will try this guy out. I feel like I have used it in the past and really liked it. It's it's a really good product. Not that I'm going to be wearing like full beat for a while, but this stuff is good. So I'm excited. What's the next thing we got? The here? next one is the perfume. It is the Mon Paris Eau de Paris. YSL. I am so fancy. You are super fancy. <clears throat> Alright, a modern floral scent inspired by the sparkling city of Paris with notes of red berries, pear, and peony. Did I, did I say Pe that right? Peony. <laughs> you are really close. I'm very proud. I don't know what any of these words mean. Peony. That's a peony right, right there, man. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent brings a cutting edge Parisian. Parisian? No, it's Parisian. Like, oh. It's like from Paris. Okay. Aesthetic to fragrance, fashion, and cosmetics. I can smell that already. All right. So the blend is, it's a floral fragrance family. Uh, the top notes are raspberry, strawberry, pear. The middle notes are, that word I can't pronounce. Peony. Peony. Jasmine, samba, orange flower. Base notes are white musk and cedar wood. That's really nice. Oh, that is nice. I like that. I That's really nice. I usually don't like a lot of the stuff. I'm excited to see how this will wear if it wears off. Well, so there's this phenomena called olfactory fatigue that after a while you just become so accustomed to smelling, you know, a fragrance on yourself that... What are you laughing about? You almost about? said old fat fatigue. Old fat fatigue. <laughs> um, you become so accustomed to smelling it on yourself that you really don't smell it anymore. But there are certain scents that I've used that I've put on and like, hey, can you still smell this? And the resounding answer is no. But I'm really, really, really excited to try that out, wear it on the regular. Because that smells really good. 
you're really going to love the next thing because it's two things right in your wheelhouse. Okay. Right here we have the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Liquid Lipstick in Everything. Ooh. A full coverage liquid lipstick in a muted mauve shade with M a... Mauve. Whatever. <laughs> with a lacquer-like finish. The lightweight high shine lipstick delivers fuller looking lips using a comfortable non-drying formula plus nurtured ingredients like jojoba oil, algae, and mineral extracts keep skin smooth soft and hydrated use the edge of the applicator to define lip perimeter and then swipe the flat side over the center of the lip to fill in i feel like i'm learning how to use makeup so much now that's not focusing but it looks like it's a nice nice mauvey nude there we did Water. mention the applicator so you're supposed to, it does look like it's flat, so you're supposed to use that to It looks like it's flat on the, one, on the one side. Use the tip to, mm -hmm. I guess, define the outside of the lips, then the flat side to fill in the rest. Oh cool. my god, I can't believe I figure out makeup now. <laughs> so I'm excited to use that. That color, that's definitely, like, up my alley there. I really like nudes. I really like liquid lips because they just, you know... Sometimes you don't get the chance to reapply during the day, so it's really, you know, helpful to have that on you. All right, so I'm going to read the little the little trademark little thing for this. It says, soy far, soy good. Good. I love it. Really fun. All right, this is from Fresh. It's a soy face cleanser, a gentle gel cleanser that removes dirt and makeup without drying your skin. Your post-costume party go-to, this face... This face wash tones, smooths, and softens skin for a healthy-looking complexion. Amino acid-rich soy proteins help visibly support natural elasticity, while cucumber extract calms the skin. Morning and evening, wet skin and massage a quarter-size amount over face and eyes, then rinse. You can really smell the cucumber in there. Oh, that smells nice. That smells really nice. I haven't... I'm going to be using that. <laughs> I haven't tried too many fresh products, but I'm really excited to try this. Usually I, I'm not the biggest fan of that cucumber smell because it's, it can be really overpowering just thinking about like the fragrances in what, like the 2000s where everything was cucumber melon. It was just too much, but I'm excited to try that. The next thing we have is Dr. Brandt Skincare Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. It's a mattifying primer that absorbs oil and, mi and minimizes the look of pores. This refining primer delivers photo-ready skin by visibly blurring lines and imperfections. It, it also protects pores under makeup while making looks last longer. In the morning, apply a small amount after moisturizing. Pat on top of makeup as needed for touch-ups. On I top? It says, it literally says, it also, blah, 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 pat on top of makeup as needed for touch-ups. Huh. Huh. I've never tried a primer like that. I'm pretty excited. I there's, also um, have never tried a primer like that. Yeah, there's a safety seal on here that I'm probably not going to be able to get off. Let me see. Can you try? Um, I'm still kind of not sold with primers. It really depends. There's, um, I think it was. I think it was a, it was either Dr. Brandt or Peter Thomas Roth. There was a primer that I used that I very much enjoyed, but sometimes I feel like it's just, you know, doesn't kind of. Doesn't taste good, by the way. It doesn't taste good. There we go. It's kind of like, oh, oh is that, is that color? It looks color. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, right? It's uh, pigmented. It's, which doesn't make a lot of sense for a typical primer, but if this is something you can put on over your makeup to freshen it up. I suppose that makes sense, but also, um, what if it's not your, your shade? Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to mix it with some lighter foundation and make it your shade. Does it see, it seems like it's sinking in though. Let me see. Yeah. It kind of looks like it, ble it, bl it blended into your skin pretty All right. well. I take it back. <laughs> so it does look like it blended into my skin kind of. You can bring your hand back a little bit. Left that weird color separation so that's good i mean it feels nice it feels very silky kind of like silicone-y all right so. last and certainly not least we have your uh makeup forever matte velvet skin in y205 a full coverage liquid foundation that controls shine and blurs imperfections now this is my question. How do how do they know that's your shade? Is there something you filled out that I said believe when I signed up 
for you, you put your shade on yeah that? well no i mean i probably if they asked like fair medium deep oh, okay. most likely i said fair <clears throat> This oil-free, water-resistant formula evens out skin tone and mattifies for a no-shine finish. Plus, it lasts for hours, so you can go from the office party to the after party with no touch-ups needed. Apply starting in the center of your face and blend out to the edges. Remember, a, li a little goes a long way. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that tiny little dot. Wow. Little seem to have gone a very long way. It does. So I'm excited to try that. So I'm going to absorb the camera a second to show them this. I love the fact that it says Scary Good Beauty. That is ador adorable. It shows everything I read was on the little paper here, as you can see. Do, 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 do. I enjoy that ghost. That's a very cute ghost. Yeah, it's adorable. It kind of it gives a really good explanation, a background to it. You know, the other side is what we showed you before. The Last, last minute looks for Halloween. Gives you a little... A little pumpkin. That's yeah. so cute. The little pumpkin play. But this is, um, you know, like... Uh, never got around to pulling together that extravagant costume you're planning on. Don't worry, we got we got your back with these easy 11th hour ideas. So at least you can say you tried, so, sort of. <laughs> so it just it just goes through a bunch of little things that, that you can do. Not so grumpy cat... Uh, wild thing. You so know. nice little tips and tricks there. Mm -hmm. yeah, and of really course cool. they have uh, if you have like if you want tips and tricks videos or you know little instruction they do supply a website that you can go to via Sephora to find it out. Does mm -hmm. it say anything on the other side? It says open here to start your beauty at start, start your next beauty adventure. So again, is this Halloween themed? I think it's no, Aww, no, just wait, just, just, well, just you know, make makeup stuff. Hey, that's fine too. Cones, yeah. So I'm Not really. Everything in October is gonna be Halloween. It should year. be. I'm really excited to try this stuff out. I feel like for the most part, I can use all of it. It doesn't look like there's any eye products in it this time. I'm super excited to try out that fragrance and see how it, you know, wears. It's a little later right now. It's like 8.10, so I'm not going to be, you know, enjoying it for very much longer. I have to take a shower and go to bed. But super excited. Uh, thank you so much again for reading everything. I really appreciate it. It's what I do. I'm a beauty guru. You're a YouTuber now. So um, what did you guys get in your play box? We will put the box number in the description also just so you can kind of compare if you haven't gotten yours yet. Again, was there any staple product that you noticed that, you know, I don't think there was any Sephora product this time, but maybe you got the same primer or something like that. Let us know down below, or you could tweet at Reanimator. Um, if you haven't already, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be informed of all my future uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook, at Reanimator, on Twitter, like I said, and also on Instagram, at Reanimator. And I think that's it. Okay. So, happy October!